Hi everyone, today I wanted to bring a new topic to you. It is a new feature to CapCut that they are beta testing. Um, this new feature can be found in the beta test version 5 version update of CapCut. So if you don't know what version you're on, you can open up the CapCut on your Windows machine and there's this little settings icon at the top right hand corner. Go ahead and click the settings icon and scroll down to version. You can see your current version here and to update to the latest version or the latest beta version, go ahead and click it and you can click check for updates here and this will either tell you if you're on the latest one or allow you to download the newest update. So you can see I am on the latest version which as of today is the 3.0 beta test version 5. So I'm saying this because it's important. Um, it's a new feature that is showing with this little free icon right now with a little clock next to it. Typically with CapCut new features, that means that they are beta testing this feature and it might or might not be around for the long haul. So give it a shot now. Um, I will walk you through it. It's pretty cool. What this does is it will take your long form content allow you to upload it to CapCut, and then it's going to provide you shorts for YouTube. So it'll take your long content and put them into a smaller clip for you to post anytime. So I'm gonna show you today how to do this. So click on long video to shorts, and then you just drag and drop whatever file you want. So I'm gonna use this one here. This is my latest video. And now you get to see the preview of your video up top. And now if you're only interested in say the middle of your clip, you can trim this piece here by pulling in the left or the right side, whatever parts that you want your shorts to focus on. Since I want mine to focus on the entire video, I'm going to leave the entire thing highlighted. And then here at the bottom, you can set the duration of your shorts. So you can choose six, less than 60 seconds or 60 to 90 or so and so. So I'm gonna choose less than 60 seconds because that's what a lot of shorts take for Instagram or YouTube. Again, you can see this free icon next to the Get Short. That means it might not be around long, so try it while you can. And you can see from the top here, there's a time, and that shows you how long it's gonna take. So you can see it's gonna take a long time. It's using an AI uh, framework to be able to, to trim these down. Let's see if it really does take that long. So if I were to, to make my clip selection smaller, this would go down as well. So I'm going to choose my entire clip here, which is only six minutes selected, but it's still gonna take almost three hours to convert this to shorts. So I'm gonna click on get shorts. And now it's gonna go through three phases here. So it's gonna upload your video. It's going to analyze your video. So this one looks like it's gonna take 12 minutes. And the last piece is going to be converting to shorts. So again, this is using AI behind the scenes and it will create some shorts. So let's see what it does. And I will come back as soon as it's done. It also says you can close this window here and come back to see the progress. One thing I do wanna mention here is if you scroll and hover over this time left, it does say you can convert 180 minutes of long videos to shorts for free every month. So then it will keep track of your 180 minutes every month for you to be able to use this tool. So it's not unlimited, but it is helpful. Okay, so I do wanna clarify something I just said. Um, I said not to close out of CapCut while you are processing your long to shorts clip. Um, I found that if I did close out of my CapCut application during that process or did, did some other work on my machine on other projects, then my CapCut application actually quit. So it just, it just closed on me and then I had to do it over. So I did it again without touching the computer and not playing with any other projects and it worked perfectly. So until they figure out the bugs with this beta test, I would suggest just letting it do its thing. It still only took about five to 10 minutes to process the entire thing. So it's not a long wait. Just try not to touch your machine too much while it's happening. So here are all my shorts that I created. 
And um, say I wanted to use this one here. It's a 22 second clip. You can see the preview here. And then if you play it, you can see how it looks. I'm gonna click start to initiate auto captions. So you can see that there's some captioning that was automatically added to my project. You can click on caption style to change the look of that or remove it entirely. And then you can either export it as is and save this project as is, or you can actually save it as a project and maybe add an introduction or a closing if you'd like to. I'm just gonna export it. I always like to do 60 FPS for the frame rates to give it the best uh, look. Okay, it's all done recording. So now I have a 22 second clip that I can import to any of my social media feeds and it will meet the requirements of the under 60 second rule. So it will be considered a short. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please like and subscribe for more.